We are following more breaking news tonight. The death of the man known as the greatest Mets player of all time. New York legend and Hall of Fame pitcher Tom Seaver. His loss being felt right now not only by the franchise but the entire league and so many fans. News Force John Chandler joins us to reflect on Seaver's storied life and legacy. John, wow. Yeah, Natalie, this is tough to take. If one player is the face of one team, that's Tom Seaver to the Mets. Consider the franchise was not very old and not very good when he arrived in 1967. Seaver transformed them. He has the baseball resume of a Hall of Famer, but to the Mets, he was the franchise. As Dar Ron Darling once told the New York Times, no one will ever be Tom Seaver. Tom Seaver pitched the Mets to a miracle World Series championship in 1969. Had he stopped there, he would have already been a Mets legend. But he was just getting started. Seaver won the Cy Young Award that year, and again in 1973, leading the Mets to the National League pennant. The greatest bunch of guys you've ever seen, and we're just a bunch of young kids that love to play this game. It's terrific. To Mets fans, he was terrific. Tom Terrific, a power pitcher with a Boy Scouts disposition, a three-time Cy Young Award winner, a 12-time All-Star who spent 12 of his 20 seasons with the Mets. He might have thrown his no-hitter with the Reds and won his 300th game with the White Sox, but in Queens, he's the franchise. The first Met in history to have his number retired, the first to wear a Mets cap into the Hall of Fame. I see a bunch of 41 shirts around here tonight and a bunch of 41s on people's back and it's great to see all the 41 supporters out here. I have so many special memories here. After baseball, there was more baseball. Seaver's quick wit served him well as a broadcaster and ambassador. He wasn't the only Mets legend, but to another like Mike Piazza, Seaver is the standard to which all Mets aspire to. 41 Seaver way in Flushing will forever be the way home for the Mets. I loved what I did for a living. It was a physical and art form, a uh, physical and mental art form. And, um, and I, I am so lucky that I got to do it for 20 years. And we were lucky to get to watch it. Seaver's wife, Nancy, and daughter, Sarah and Ann, say they are heartbroken and are mourning this loss with his fans. Seaver had retired from public life. He was unable to attend the 50th anniversary of the Miracle Mets last year. The Baseball Hall of Fame says he passed peacefully in his sleep from complications from dementia and COVID-19. Tom Seaver was 75, Natalie. John, what a legend and what a loss.